Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful. And if you like it, please subscribe to my channel and comment below and like this video. And share it with your friends as well if you feel like it. Alright, let's take a look at this problem. Solve the following inequality for x. Write your answer in interval notation. So it would be important for you to remember that on a number line, any of these values between 0 and 11 are going to work. But since it's the absolute value as well, anything between 0 and negative 11 will also work as a solution. So anything that would give us values in this red area would give us a solution to this. Now, of course, I'm talking about the absolute value of 7x minus 3. Whatever that value is has to be between negative 11 and 11, all right? Again, that's because all of these values make the statement true, but since it's the absolute value, all of these ones make the statement true as well. Well, what that means is that we're going to have to solve two separate inequalities. So we have the 7x minus 3 and we need it to be less than 11. But this also means that we need the 7x minus 3 to be greater than a negative 11. Alright, and some of you may have remembered seeing this more to this effect. But in any case, uh, you'll still be solving it pretty much the same way. So it doesn't matter how you want to do it. You, can, you could solve it in this format, but I'm going to go and make it two separate inequalities to solve. All right, I'll start with this inequality on the left. So what I'm going to do is a, we'll add 3 to both sides. And this gives me negative 3 plus 3 is going to give us 0. 11 plus 3 is 14. And we still have this 7x is less than 14. The last thing we'll want to do is divide by 7. And this gives us that x is less than 2. And that's our first solution. And we shouldn't forget that this needs to be interval in interval notation. But let's go ahead and solve the inequality on the right there first. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add 3 to both sides. And that gives us this 7x. And this will be greater than because the negative 3 plus 3 cancels out with the 0. Negative 11 plus 3 is a negative 8. Finally, we'll just divide by 7 on both sides. And we find that x is greater than negative 8 sevenths. And this is our second solution. So let's look at this in an, as an inequality in, in terms of the answer. Uh, if we have x, we know that it's going to be less than 2, but also that it will be greater than negative 8 sevenths. So how do we write this in interval notation? Well, uh, on a number line, we would have all the values less than 2, but all the values that are greater than negative 8 sevenths. So what we want to do is figure out where these two intersect, and it's between 2 and negative 8 sevenths. All right, so that's going to be our interval notation, negative 8 sevenths to 2. Now, that may look like a coordinate pair, but it's not. That's interval notation for the answer here. It means that any value between negative 8 sevenths and 2 would give us a correct answer. Now, it's important also to check our, check our work here. And uh, a value between negative 8 sevenths and 2 would be 0. So let's go ahead and use the original inequality and check our work. All right, so we have the absolute value of 7 times 0, because 0 is between negative 8 sevenths and 2. Minus 3, the absolute value of that needs to be less than 11. Let's go ahead and check. 7 times 0 is 0. And we have the absolute value of 0 minus 3 needs to be less than 11. Well, that gives us the absolute value of negative 3, which is 3. 
and 3 actually is less than 11, so that seems to work. Now you could go the extra distance and just make sure that any values to the left of negative 8 sevenths would give us a false statement, and any values to the right of 2 would give us a false statement. Uh, but in this example, we'll let this work out because we're running this video already a little long. And it's also important to notice that these are regular parentheses brackets because a negative 8 sevenths and 2 give us a value in the original inequality that would have given us something equal to 11. But we don't want something that's equal to 11 because it's not equal to here. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, please again subscribe, comment below, like this video, and share with your friends if you found it helpful.